Hello everybody, um, I'm going to show you another um, way of doing a monoprint, this time using a baking tray. Please get permission before you go raiding the cupboards. Um, we're going to be um, etching into paint that we apply onto the baking tray. I'm using printing ink but you could equally use acrylic paint, you want something quite thick. I'm also applying it um, using a brayer, which is a really hard roller, which gives a nice smooth texture. But if you don't have a brayer at home, you could um, just use a foam brush or make sure you get some nice smooth strokes on there to make it as smooth as possible. So I think that's enough on there. I'm gonna um, etch into the top using just a pencil. You could try using a skewer or a toothpick or even a cotton bud. You could try many different things to get different effects. I'm just going to draw a flower, a tiger lily, because it's my daughter's favourite flower. Um, but you could do anything you like and make sure you've got um, a couple of sheets of plain paper ready for your printing. So off we go. I've scratched into the surface. It's really good fun actually. It's really um, easy to do. And I'm gonna hold this up so I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but I've tried to put um, as many fine details in as I can. And now we're ready to have a go at printing from it. So I'm just gonna use plain cartridge paper. Place it on top. I have got another sheet of paper ready just in case this one's got too much ink on it. You give it a good rub over. Cross your fingers and your toes. Let's have a look. Oh, it's lovely. I'm really pleased with that. I hope you can see it clearly. Um, just to show you, I'm going to do another print from it, just to prove to you that you can get a couple of prints from these. And the beauty of it as well is you can just clean the baking tray off and have another go. And if it goes wrong, it doesn't really matter, does it? That's how we learn. So this one will be a lot lighter this print. I actually prefer this one. So I put them both next to each other so you can see. Hopefully you can see. So it's a really really nice effect. You could do a landscape, um, you could use this as a gift for somebody, it'd make a lovely lovely gift for somebody that you're thinking about. Um, you could turn it into a, a cover for a notebook or a scrapbook, anything. Um, so have a go at it, let me know how you get on and I'll post some more videos soon. Bye for now.